What's up guys, it's your girl Aries Ashley here and today I am going to be bringing you a long-awaited life update video. Oh my gosh, I miss y'all so much. Um, I wrote like a whole script and I haven't even looked at it yet because I just want to say that I miss you guys so very much and I want to say thank you to everyone who reached out to me to check on me to see if I was doing okay. Um, we're gonna get into all of that right here, right now. So um, as you saw in the thumbnail, um, I hung up my apron. So let's just get into it, okay? So I know you've been wondering what the heck, <laughs> where you been, what have you been up to? Y'all, I've been at work. Um, I was working, working, working and the days that I had off, I had every intention to make a video, so much so that my, like a large part of my living room is just taken up by empties and then halls just kind of separated. And I just never, I never got around to it. So um, yeah, because those days where I did have the time, oh, it got bright, you guys. I'm using the, I'm using like the lights and the sun. So hold on a second, let me adjust. A little bit better okay um so yes the time I had off I needed the rest my body needed the rest and that's what I did I I rested so let's just let's just um, get into it it's one thing to love to haul and to hoard Bath and Body Works products but it's a whole nother ball game, a horse of a completely different color to work there. And I have so much respect for the store managers, the assistant store managers, the SLT members, anybody who works at Bath and Body Works. There is a lot that goes on behind the, behind the scenes. And y'all, it's a lot it really is um, and that brings me to why I decided to hang up my apron so I'm no longer employed obviously at Bath and Body Works and I just wanted to share with you guys a few reasons why number one is the inconsistent scheduling with Bath and Body Works in an assistant store manager role or a store manager role for that matter, it could be just any SLT member role, you have to have an open availability. And with an open availability, that means that your schedule is all over the place. So if you get two days off, they are not guaranteed to be two days back to back. So you could have like a Monday, Wednesday off or a Tuesday, Thursday off or a Monday, Friday off it's never the same days and the only time you will have two days off in a row is when it's your turn to have a weekend off and you would get a saturday sunday off and that comes around once a month so that was kind of the inconsistency it's just y'all um it was becoming to where it just wasn't practical for me especially times where you're doing floor set i have been in that store till two a little after 2 a.m a.m 2 a.m doing a floor set and i mean why i love why i love the product i just i just didn't necessarily love the inconsistency in the scheduling um which brings me to my next thing and that's the work-life balance in a slt role it's very very difficult to achieve a work-life balance um which is what i was saying about the days off being in a row it's really hard especially like if you have family and you don't you don't want to be doing that um if if you have if you have family y'all know i have a small child it was it was getting to be too much um 
And the third thing is the, the excessive workload. Oh my gosh. And the role that I was in as the assistant store manager, I was responsible for just about the same things that the store manager was responsible for, minus just a few things that only store managers had access to. And then as well as shipment, floor set, marketing, running sales conversion segments, and that's just to name a few things, okay? I'm gonna try to adjust this again. Just to name a few things, it was a lot. It was a lot to do on top of you dealing with your customers, you know, and then um, you got to familiarize yourself with the product, the new, the new product. We know Bath and Body Works is constantly pushing out new product, but as an employee, you're kind of held to a different standard as for uh, what's like selling what's available today. So you, if somebody comes in there looking for cherry blossom, which most of us know that cherry blossom is typically either sold at semi-annual sale or it's an online exclusive, a customer comes in there looking for it, I can't let that customer walk out the door empty handed. So I have to be able to match cherry blossom to something that's similar to it, that's not necessarily Japanese cherry blossom okay because japanese cherry blossom is way more cleaner it's not as fruity as cherry blossom was and all this stuff and just having to hold that product knowledge to each customer and being expected to make the sale even though i don't have what that customer wanted um and that's just that's minute in comparison to the other things that i was being held to being held responsible to make sure I take care of. Um, so yeah, that's just, just to name a few reasons why I decided it, I, I needed to get out of there. What won't I miss? All the things previously mentioned, I will not miss those things. Um, the drama, like y'all, we, we just sell home fragrance and body care. There should not be any drama. I'm not gonna miss that. The excessive spending, I couldn't leave there without a bag, you guys. Every time I left work, I had a Bath and Body Works bag with me. It's insane. It's insane. I wasn't, while I was making good money, I wasn't saving any money because I was giving all the money right back to Bath and Body Works. Um, floor sets, not gonna miss that. Um, it's pretty to see as a customer when you walk in there and it looks all great, but being, <laughs> Part of the little minion group that puts it together uh, i don't think so um having to be selective about what i say on my youtube channel i will not miss that you guys when i was the few videos that i was able to make while being employed i had to watch what i say and now i don't and i feel so relieved i feel so relieved that my job will no longer be in jeopardy depending upon what I say on my YouTube channel. Not cool at all. I'm so happy I don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, what will I miss? I'm gonna miss my coworkers. Uh, even though we did have a little bit of drama, it was fun. It was so much fun and I, I love them and I'm definitely going to miss them. Trev, I got your video coming on how to use the um, the wick trimmer dipper snuffer set i got you bro it's coming okay um what else the discount i'm gonna miss the discount but but i'm not gonna miss the excessive spending and i feel like the discount most certainly played a hand in how much stuff i purchased because especially when it comes to like the home decor pieces um where is that thing let me see if i can reach it you guys I don't know where I put it. Hold on. Hold on a second. Spoiling some of the haul video that will later come, but y'all, I had to have this. Now, if I didn't have 40% off of this, I never would have purchased it. The original price was $34.95. So I paid, I think like 20 bucks for it. 20 bucks is even expensive to me now that I, you know, kind of think about it. That's a lot to pay for one of these pieces. But 
you guys if this was $34.95 with 20% off that wouldn't have been enough but I had 40% off so I purchased it and that's what I mean like it, it was just so much so much spending um the, uh, the last thing that I'm going to definitely miss is the newness. Now, we do have on Instagram, Sense Galore, and people like that, Life Inside the Page, Daily Finds, who will show us the newness, and we still get to see it. But it was one thing being an employee and getting to look at it firsthand to verify, well, is this true? Is this really coming? Because some things that they post, yes, they're coming, it's true, but it's not coming to be released to all the stores if you know what I mean. So um, being an employee, I was able to see what was coming to all of the stores. And I, I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss being able to open the box of newness and go, oh, what's this, you know? Uh, granted, I couldn't take pictures and post it because I would get in trouble. So there's things like that. But aside from that, y'all, I wanna give a special thank you to Kaylee my store manager at Bath & Body Works for allowing me the opportunity to grow as a leader by um, giving me that position to as hiring me as her assistant store manager. I'm forever grateful to you, Kaylee, for that. And I await the day that you take on the role of DM. I cannot wait to hear that news. So when you get dm i want that text message okay i need that in my life i'm super excited um that i was able to experience being an assistant manager at bath and body works i definitely feel like it groomed me as a better leader so that i can know things know what to do and what not to do especially whenever you work with different personality types and it taught me a lot and I just want to say thank you for letting me be able to experience that. Uh, what am I doing now? You guys might be wondering, okay, so you quit your job. What are you doing now? Now, you guys, I accepted an assistant manager position at Tommy Bahama and I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm in the heart of downtown Charleston and it feels like I'm on vacation every day. It, it feels like vacation. Um, I'm still training, but I've already fallen in love with the brand and the brand's values. They are affiliated with Skin Cancer Foundation and they are an environmentally conscious company and coming from Bath and Body Works, knowing how much product <laughs> we poured in the trash, just going to a company that makes clothing out of recycled plastic bottles makes me feel like I'm kind of balancing <laughs> the scales a little bit. It's like alleviating me of some of the guilt from knowing how much stuff I've personally thrown in the garbage. Um, but aside from that, moving forward, you guys, I am typically now off on Sundays and Mondays. So that creates the consistency that I was looking for that I wasn't getting and now I have that and I'm so grateful for that because I feel like it's going to ground me a bit having that consistency um, in my life and with that being said I feel as though I'm going to be able to manage my channel a lot better now that I no longer am going to be kind of all over the place now that I have a set schedule. I wanna give an extra special thank you to my new store manager for seeing me as the perfect addition to her team. She is awesome. I'm not sure if she's comfortable with me saying her name on camera, so I won't. But I just want you to know that I really, really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I just, I really do. And to all of you, that's right, you guys, for sticking by my side. Oh my gosh, regardless of my inconsistency, I know I'm not on here like I like I should be, but you guys, we turn the page, we're on the next chapter, and I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for each and every one of you, and I am so happy to be back. So that pretty much um, concludes this video. I will be back next week with another video, uh, in which case I would really appreciate it if you guys would vote and tell me what you want to see first. 
if you would prefer to see my empties first or my hauls first. Either way, I have to get something out of here, out of this living room. I gotta clean the living room, you guys. So do you want me to show you the empties and then take that out? Or do you want me to show you the hauls and then put that stuff away, okay? Um, also, I'm going to be doing, I know I mentioned this before, but I never got around to it. I'm gonna be doing post burn reviews on candles now instead of putting them in the empties you guys look at this if i can lift it hold on this is post burn reviews it's three crates i have three crates of candles so maybe you want that first you could put that too if you want that first so just let me know what video you would like to see first between my empties my hauls or the purse pursed or the post burn reviews on the candles okay all right that's it i love you guys thank you so much for watching and thank you for being yourselves i appreciate you until next time toodles